Who is it? Now you. Hey, oh dear. <laughs> it's track walk day, Lada man. Come, Marsh, just leave you some pancake. What's this? He just wants to go. What's this? Come here. He just wants to go to the river. Come here. Look. What's this? Pancake. Oh, yes, please. Pancake for a man to start the day. Oh, there you go. Oh, good dog. Okay, this way. Let's go. We're going to get a coffee. We're going to get a baguette because we're in France. And he just wants to go back to the river, eh? Look at this. Store dog. Jenna's got a bag on. Store man. Are you so well behaved walking next to me? You're not gonna run ahead? That's what I thought. I got my laptop to do for now, Manny. Oi! It's your boy, just keep him guard on the bench, eh? Guard on the bench, ladder. Good lad. That's what we like. That's what we like, son. It's espresso, yeah, it's proper. Eddie just doing some mods, looking pretty, pretty skeezy this morning, eh, Lada Mare? Quite far to the back, slightly into the toe. Quite fast back, slightly in. That's kind of how I do it. I got all the way back into toe. Oh, my nose. These ones get you to make yeah, you go quite far back. Fast. Chonks just doing some bike tuning. Steph's got some snacks. Here we are, sports fans. I got coffee. Oh, it's a BK sport pit. <laughs> it's a bit. I promise. <laughs> Looks pretty good. All right, you girls made some banging avocado toast. <laughs> but have you now? It is pretty good. You tell me every morning is good. So it was pretty good. Zip it. The man wants some, but you can't have it, mister. Look at those eyes. Martha Perry. Angus is on cleanup because <laughs> he has been Nutellering with a bread knife and leaving it dirty. Yeah, they're Angus, let me teach you. We're out on a walk with the man. He's been in the river again. Lotto, come here. Come. Oi. Come here, sit, sit, sit. Can we do a scoot scoot? No, he thinks it's too cold. <laughs> Come here, because you pooped, I'm carrying it around now in a little rider sign, pit sign. Anything could happen, right? There's all sorts of rumors flying about. Practice today, I don't know, people are talking. Who knows, maybe, that's what Brooke reckons. Enduro squad's ready to roll. I'll sit on my bike. Okay, oh mate. But if it's so we got matching it's helmet, not too bad. goggles, it looks great. It looks I think. Oh, sorry. Eddie? Uh, I just, you know, the only thing is, like, there's, it's the tw there's such thing as too much matching. But I reckon you look fire. Yeah. We're going to walk down our track. Right, we're actually really close to the lift, which is nice. And the sun is out in the Pyrenees. Fresh piece of sport, hey? Wrote in it yesterday, but obviously you don't even need to clean it. I like self-cleaning these things. Depends how muddy I think you ride in. Yeah, but... mackerel media. I reckon we're dull, mate. Tom Moss get a cheeky one from Blanky. New no. pants for the fly tipper guy. <laughs> it's four, but it is four bikes. And it's four, yeah. Right, there's a massive lineup for the Enduro getting the lift. Same one as we're going. I think we're going to try and walk around the people. Not to cut the line, but I think we can go. Let's try it. Let's try it. These weird orange guys. Anyway, I think walking lines here, which we're bombing up. This is not going to work for downhill practice, though, this lift, unfortunately. No more DH than Enduro, I think. Ha ha! Ha ha! Hey, nerds! I have fun walking, man. Laters! My boy TV, what's up, brother? Hey, oh dear. Right, the lift's actually only like eight and a half, nine minutes. It feels like 15, but we're up. We've got about a one or two K walk now at the top of the downhill. And this is the shuttle, which I doubt there is. Just got a fitty filled up at the bar, which is cool. Oh, sick plane. The view up here is unreal. I'll give Ludenville that. Cops, just in case we need them. Squids. I know, right, we're 11 minutes into our speed walk to the start. <laughs> and uh, we've still got a little ways to go. Half a K, maybe? A couple of cheers up there. Yeah. Whoa. Right, so actually the sickest runway here, and my granddad was a pilot, so one day I really hoped to have my pilot's license because on a sunny day like today, if you were just flying up here, I don't think much would beat that. It'd be pretty unreal. What do you reckon, boys? Nice. It would be epic. Look how steep the runway is as well. It'd be sick. Wow. I kind of want a bush plane. If any bush plane pilots out there want to teach me, hit me up, I'm keen. Uh, 
Okay, if the weather's good, it's one of the most picturesque places ever. Ever, 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 ever. Going for it, straight up the stuff. Today? That's what I was just saying. We've got loads of rumours. Well, maybe, I'll get my phone out of the pocket. Start up the track, looks unreal. Apparently we are practicing today, I'm gonna get my phone out and check, but I'm not mad at it if we are. Oh, yeah, it's just come through, I think. Wednesday, all riders. Uh, training group A, yeah. Four till six, we're practicing today, sports fans. Get us on track. Yeah, we best get down, Jenna's. That is kind of gnarly when you don't think you're practicing, now we are. Yeah. Yeah. But straight out the gate here, she's a hell sprint. I'll get it up on my phone when I get down the start ramp. Oh, what? Practicing today? Bonnie needs to get back to the pits. We got some bikes to build. No, there's not much to do. So, Dane, you're just beast. You're two. It's just an hour earlier. Oh! At the start sprint, we've got roller, roller, then double into a triple. So we've got a new schedule. We do practice today straight away, which I'm not mad at. It's like a big change. Um, and then the juniors don't know when they're going to race yet. It says TBC Saturday because of electrical storms coming in. But here we are on the track. We've got a little triple into the first off camber left, baby. We're going to race Sunday with Saturday off. So we've got off camber grass. Wait up. What have we got here? An on off. Oh yeah. You're gonna have a lot of speed. So far though, but of a tiny, a, lip. a tiny lip. I don't know how much speed you will have from there though. I don't reckon. Probably not. It's like that much faster anyway. That's so far. I don't know if you could quad that. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna might quad this. Might on off it. Down. This is basically just a full sprint at the top of here. Over a little roll into an off camber lefty grass uphill. Kind of like the your classic French. Grassy thing. You're quite good at the weren't you, last year? I did alright. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're coming down here. Sure this is sick because this is like, looks like hard there. Hopefully, this is going to chew up that like breaking amount rough ruts, like kind of motor ruts, hopefully. And I am not mad at that. Into kind of a cool right rut, grassy bank. This turn, I reckon, could be really cool. <laughs> Um, around here, then we got kind of cut high. This will just rut in somewhere. We don't really need to worry too much here whether we're going to pull up here or up there because this will just rut in at some point. Oh, they built some whoops. Crossing this next road is going to be a gnarly compression pin, I think. A little chicane. This is pretty off camera grass right now, but if you started dead stop right where I am and bombed, you would hit the road so fast. This is quite a gnarly section even though it's completely straight and nothing to it. That's what makes it gnarly. As you come onto the road, it looks really flat in my eyes now, but I think at 50 k's an hour, it could be a bit of a compression. It's gonna be scary. You're gonna be coming off this so, so fast. So fast. It's gonna be like gapping. It's just who can YOLO hardest. If you go high, high, you'll be good, but then will if it be tight just, at the if bottom? If you're grass down, you're dead, but. Yeah. If you're what? grass down oh yeah obviously you die but maybe the top top bank you'll be all right because the middle edge even trying to gap into that could be gnarly i reckon jenna you want to come in and just like kind of wall ride highlight like we were yesterday on those bits yeah wall ride, wall ride, mate wall ride. you will i think even if you squash this as hard as possible you'll land where you are but i reckon you'll be on the bank i talk about this quite a bit but as you cross the road in here it goes really flat for maybe a hundred meters so it's a finish line really because you need to carry as much speed as possible because obviously how fast you're going on a longer section of track is going to make a bigger difference than on a tiny bit so keep your speed bloody up here sports fans Jenna's back on an air shock as well and the coil's really good but I think air is like a good, good positive feel so you should be able to pump like no other through here and we can fine tune the pressure little dub near the end of the flat and we've got split time is this first split? yeah I think yeah first split we've seen so high speed first split on the flat it, it's completely flat turn it should be all right it's quite wide but who knows with the speed you carry in it might be kind of tricky it might be all right like so right come around the flat and we got a little roller double here and look there's loads of like single rollers which can be like crazy pumping and then super flat again this is a really long flat section 
maybe two, three hundred meters total. All right, we've got kind of chicane in the flat bit here. It could be kind of gnarly because how quick are we going? Just right, left, right. After the little chicane there, another chicane here, but they kind of flatten off. I reckon this will be tricky to think of a little pump. Vital again because we got a couple here and up on the edge here, it's quite flat again and uphill. Yeah, at these last two, it's so hard packing. If it's wet, she'll be polished, but for now it's good. And then another flat, like I said, to the uphill. Yeah, tomorrow maybe, yeah, hey? Pretty cool? Yes. Right, up over the brow. See you in a bit, Kike? Not Kike, but... <laughs> I know it is. Right, then we go... Jenna's just gonna tell us. Over the little uphill. Oh, is this the gnarly bridge? Ah, it'd be pretty sick just launching as far as you can. I'm just thinking we pre hop from right there. Oh, if you could pre hop, yeah. I wonder how quick you'll be going. Quick, right? right, off crazy high speed bridge. What we've got here, like a double dub, and then quite a twisty double down with the crew is. I'm not going to do too much because we're practicing this afternoon now. You're actually going to get track walk and day one practice all in one LSD. I want to see some fat. Fat whips off this bad boy. Here, it's be sick. Oh, we got some whoops. Let's come down off this and then we go into some kind of uphill whoops that don't really work on mountain bike because we're losing speed the whole time we don't have a throttle. But kind of cool. Kind of cool. Well, we've got super cross whoops here. Then we got an onto a table, off a table, into stool wall. Like on that? Yeah. Maybe on the whoops, yeah. But I Right, Gwynny's called it. He says he came from motocross background and he, he says he's not scared of the school stool or double. First up, brother. <laughs> Imagine how cool you'd look with a lake in the background, just 50 feet in the air. You would look pretty cool. You but would get the shot regardless of what happens. On regardless of blowing up on landing. <laughs> it would be a highlight reel either way. <laughs> and just back on it at the minute, real dewy grass. It will chew up, but I was told Jen not to pretty go for the first half hour of practice that just chew up a bit. She's just got some good ruts. Cause this is the first bit where the track's kind of steepening up now, which is sick. See that grass, mud, dirt, stuff, things. The track's starting to get real busy ahead of us now. How's everyone here in Elite Team? Kind of weird. Yeah, um, because there's an inside here that looks weird. That's track here. Yeah. Oh, now it's getting good. Could be a way better rut. Because mm. inside or mid, such soft, insane yeah, like dirt. A tiny bit on that. It just depends where it like gets good though. Mid over this, oh, yeah, I agree. Mid would be sick unless you get these huge rocks come out underneath somewhere. But look at this. Look at that. Lovely. Oh, the fresh whites. Look how good the dirt is right now. Woohoo, baby. Right Might be wasting time. Right, next turn is high over rocks or cut in. And you don't need to go up quite high there. You're breaking there anyway. We'll have to see where most of this develops because you've got two lines pretty much in every turn here. And it could be good to go high. Could be terrible. Could get sick exit if you go there, but it might be wasting your time. And you might get sick exit through here if it just cuts in sharp anyway. In a bike park section here, and now we cut up onto some grass, which will probably just ledge in. This would probably just chew out at some point. You kind of just hold it because you're going so quick into it and you'll hop. And then we're back onto some classic French grass. Chewed out so steep. This is this is where it gets sick. I mean, look at our shadows. It's 11-11. Yep. And it's going to be good. Right, coming down the steep section now, we come into a burp and it looks like maybe a track gap, which looks so gnarly. So gnarly. <laughs> Gwynny says the good news is the firm is, <laughs> she's looking good mate. But I, mean, I get support, so fear not my thing. Fear not, the firm might last 20 Trust riders. <laughs> I don't think the track gap's happening here, is it? It's so busy all of a sudden. This is actually... Track gap is just some kind of absolute lord. If not, you're rolling through the middle. I'd say you're probably gonna rip, oh! Was to uh, rip through low on the next ledge. We've got your boy Mad Dog Boris. He's been killing it lately on the photos. We got some KTM Thank wheelie you. shots, Thank and you. I appreciate it. Thanks, man. Another high off camera into a huge bike park burn. Be risking a bit of life and limb down here. It's quite 
hectic. Yeah. And this time off camera, you can see all the people. Get to the chopper. Right, off the high, then into a gnarly chopped out bike park, but I'm ready, but I'm not, I'm frothing it. Elliot Jackson would be a lord at this line, he'd clip that with his foot and just scrub through the side, because come out of there. And you could triple this quite big, but I think you're going to try and take that out every lap, put that out every lap with your pedal, and squash through will probably be the best way. You'll get something, Boris, right? Hey, Down off the triple. That's, it's quite a big triple. There's a gap up the high. Can't see because Clay Porter's in the way. Jesus, man. When did track walk get so Jesus, busy? That's man. fucking there. Uh, What's awesome. <laughs> up? He's in the LSD this week, the vlog, whatever you've got it. We've got sick Highline. We've got filmers everywhere. All right, we come off the triple. And we could gap onto this high here, which could be so sick for exit back into the bike park. But you never know, low could be good because it's hard pack pumping. I'm so excited to ride, try and figure out a few of these today. I mean, high looks sick from here. But you never know, low could just link up really good. What do you reckon, Jake? Yeah, I don't know. It's like, like, not like a super good From the high, I know. Is it? It might break down. Yeah. Good. Back in here, kind of flat, we've got a little double out there, so max exit speed again. It's like a finish line. It's like a mini four wheel motorway, so Jenna should be good at that. I'm gonna get over that last one, I think. I'm gonna come around here, we're turning back in the track. There's some whoops they've built. The first three are pretty chewed out, but I think maybe if you could double the last two into the berm. <sighs> Don't know if we're gonna be doubling into the berm, but it could be nice. How is she looking, slippery or grippy? Don't oversteer. Not too bad, but do not oversteer, because after this huge wall of the berm, We've got a classic World Cup bridge. They love a bridge at a World Cup. Really <laughs> kind of grippy. So across the Continental Tire Bridge here. It's kind of like a roller coaster. It's actually quite good. They've done a really good job. It's better. Normally get this rubber matting that is the worst thing ever. These guys have painted with grip. Impressive build. Down the bridge, absolutely hooking. You're gonna be breaking on the bridge because you've got a really tight right berm and then it looks like an insane steep tight left drop off with the with the crew down here which syndicate always blocking it up come on guys out of this in the rough with the goat oh baby that's quite gnarly holy oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! He's, oh, he's running no. out. He's running out. All right, come out of the turn here. And you've either got a tight, steep mid, but you need to stay left at the bottom, or you could come over this because it's dead straight out of the berm. If you stand back there as well, gently have a look. This will be a real easy roll down, and there's kind of a berm already, and then we can go high out easy. I love autumn night for vibes and chilling and walking the man, but it's quite nice. Look at all the shadows in here as we're trying to walk the track. We're going race speed. I don't want to be racing before midday. <laughs> I'd say it's the same for everyone, but as you saw last week with the weather, down here you don't race at the same time. The elite men's field could be two hours apart, so it could actually be kind of gnarly with the sun and Jake hitting the tree last week. So hopefully they condense the schedule again, especially as it's already changing. Okay, on one of our lines here, this high line, we've got a really big route. So we spanner in the works there. This section of track looks so good, eh? <laughs> Dude, when did track walk turn into like 405 freeway in LA, bro? <laughs> Tell me about it, mate. There's poles everywhere. And... There's people everywhere. Before we get overtaken, <laughs> come around here in the next section. There's a high and a low before the next bit. What are you saying, Dan? You reckon down the tree as well? Yeah. High looks dicey, but might rut up. It's super slippery and kind of wet in here, and I'm probably going to stay the same because you've got rain coming and but a it's lot a of weird turn out of it. Like but really you could just punch and kind of do a weird, you know, like a, not a Scandi, but like a little Enduro upturn. If high, like, ruts in real good right there, it might be meant. Might you be. You also, like, ride here, then cut up. If, but look at the ledge down there. <laughs> You're on the show, baby! <laughs> yeah, welcome to the Stress. show, Elliot Jackson. <laughs> oh, any God. good words for us this week? Uh, Man, the fans want you back on the commentary. We want him back too. Sorry it's not happening. Hey, hey, we'd love to be there. You know? <laughs> he would love sorry to be to, there. Sorry to let you guys down. Turns out the end of the section, you've got to go high. Jank section. That's the only one. But that was still cut where Brookie is. That's the softest bit of the track there. And you can't even go quick here because that's such an awkward. It's going to be sick, though. It's going to be sick. Froth has said it's going to be sick. Your boy's going to go good.
I still don't hate that. Jenna's decided she's going for the steep way down, even though I might crash on this one. Messy navigated. Out of that, you've either got some random high, or you can just snake through right low. It's hard to say again. We just need to get some tires on the dirt. Well, that's a kind of cool high. We just need to know where it's going. Oh, there's some ruts, baby. Kind of cool, the section above the high low is actually going to affect the outside, inside here, because if you go inside, you're probably low, outside high, and this depends on where you're on the next straight. Hey, mate. Or, yeah, see, this is a way longer straight that matters more than that little bit. I mean, oh, I'd just be high all the time, rail the berm, high again. And it would go high the whole way, yeah. over the plants, drop yep. into the berm, stay high. Bunny hop our Shimano, best brakes and chains and cranks in the game, and then keep going. Yep. Right, I'm kind of liking low at the minute because if you're on the high, it's going to be pointing you left at the turn. Could be good, could be bad. It's two really different lines. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be on the grass there, brother. Yeah. Maybe, but I don't think so. So yeah, like any of it actually, into the next section. So steep, look at everyone on the edge. Oh my god, it's steep and sick. Getting more and more a fan of this track. Thank you. What's that? Just kind of squeeze by you. Oh, sorry. Don't like yeah, that double yet. berm looks weird. <laughs> Freaking double berm. Freaking double berm, dude. Double rainbow. Probably want to hit the left. Yeah, I reckon. Oh, hey. Yeah, because <laughs> if you hit the right, you're gonna hold. Oh. Nina Seagrave, I reckon, is gonna come high here, <laughs> turn left, get to the end of the straight, and have a rainbow jersey. <laughs> <laughs> have a rainbow jersey. <laughs> At the minute, I think I'm feeling low. Kind of hop up on the bank a little bit here and just turn in. Just turn in, brother. So what? No hand. Straightest, shortest, quickest, and it's so steep here. Yeah, this is your section, brother. Surely. This is where Edbull Media House needs to be in Pracky. <laughs> Laurie reckons he's holding high. I can hear it already down there. <laughs> I reckon I'm going to the bottom berm. I don't think you're going to the This might rut up insane though if you like turn out. Oh, it does look easier from here. I reckon maybe you could do the high. Yeah. What do you think for tires? I was thinking high might now work. It might be still really gnarly and so slow, so always got a cool low option, but I'm going to walk across the high. If you do it, you're going to have to wide. It looks so cool from below, way better than on this camera. It's a huge deep shoot, and I'm loving it. It's so cool. Another off camera. Well, I was just looking at the lines. No, but we were just kind of oh, yeah. Just now. Right, so you come out here and maybe across this ledge, which I don't really know how you get onto the next bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's really actually got quite gnarly all of a sudden. Now, maybe I'm going to hire a towel. But cryptos are dialed anyway. So how cool. Because you really want to be here, but you're probably going down to there. I don't think run up. We, we're good guys. If you had to have baguettes or croissants the rest of your life, your life what would it be? I know his answer, dude. Yeah, it's baguettes, baguettes for baguettes, sure. Baguettes, sure? <laughs> yeah. Dude, croissants. Yeah, boy. I don't know what, cross, bread's more like versatile, isn't it? Yeah. Croissants are dialed. Croissants. Yeah, I don't know. I've been getting one every day out here. It's oh, <laughs> I like it. Someone had a huge behind us. And then we gap from where Jake is. Land mid, cut high, into the berm. You're up at the split. Oh, come on. <laughs> so I'm gonna drop you at the top of the loam because like, like at the end of all the flat stuff. <laughs> Don't want that. Right, new fresh turns gonna last about three minutes, but back into some bike park, right, tight left. Frothing. Out the bike park, exit the turn, I think as early as possible, then come up. Maybe hop, maybe, I think you're just gonna be rolling through this section into another such a steep, sick, natural bit. Too, mate. You're fine. <laughs> right down. Like Jenna just said, they're making up for how flat it is at the top by so steep oh, at the still bottom. My line. Cool. Now I said, like you said, like you said, but it's looking good. It's quite tricky. We've got a nice little rock slab there. Damn it's on the berm. You could light this up. Hopping this out of the track or walking track makes this tricky kind of into this berm. Flat at the start. 
soft and then it's got massive wool but it's going to rub stick into it. Another split time and a flat section. So this berm, super important to get the egg entrance of this berm good. Nice, no, so you like up in it here. Yeah, just look last lap of the day, big look lap. We've got a tricky inside and off a drop by the looks of it. Or inside and low and just keep speed. Another two lines, there's so many lines at the bottom, it's cool. Yeah, because if you're here, this might put you mid-turn. Yeah. This might just put you crap, whereas this is gonna fire you out good. See? Actually a dry grippy turn. This thing's kinda blind. If you get a handlebar on and ride it out, I'll give you a thousand bucks. <laughs> right, this is now at the sickest scrub lamp hopefully ever. Maybe you'll see some cool media, maybe it won't be as good as I think, but over this, down a huge chute into a bike park berm. So this can be like, how late can you break? And light of the berm, little hive for a berm. Don't know, maybe just in. This little sucker here, back out the bike park, they keep like putting us into a couple of turns and you've got all oh, turn over, I'm not mad at it because it means natural. So out of this is some random guy on our way. This is a classic, random people don't need to be on the track. <laughs> and then over some slick rocks. Inside, outside, inside, outside, inside. Other than that, but still. <laughs> Straight back in, little high cut up. Ricky over some grass. But these ones are pretty random, these sections there. Uh, yeah, I reckon you're just trying to do that. Does everyone need to be in here? Come in. Little popper. Yeah, oh, there's another split, yeah. That's the split you want to win, baby. Ooh. And then another little jump. It's cool, we've got a couple jumps. They're still pretty small and flat, but they'll be cool. Jumps. Oh, a natty step down. It just, it'll be gnarly first lap blind, but it just go as long as you want. It will still be like, in the first round you will be nervous. You'll be like, oh. Pretty cool between the trees, like a natural drop into another grass steep section. I think we're almost at the finish. Grass into another D-weight, floaty, loamy, steep bit where thorn bushes used to be. It's like UK riding, man. Down, and we kind of got an awkward high line like to hold here off a drop into a turn. And we can see the finish off camera here again. Grassy, but it's going to rut up a lot. You need to be off the brakes so you can see the finish line. It's going to be a heavy lander, eh? There's a really long way down, heavy. You don't want to blow out an ankle on that. Just pin it and squash it. It's kind of quite a big, gnarly, like hip transfer at the end of your race run here. Do you want to be far right, Dana Bottom? No. Yes, yeah, so it's kind of cool. I'm just my air and just motor drag it for you. You couldn't. Yeah, you know. I'll stop you, Landret, for Angus, well, MCD Media. You could inside. Little. So you're going to want to be out to sprint to the line, but mid just to get there quicker. It's a hard call. Right. Inside, outside, last turn. Through the finish line. The fans are going crazy. This track walk down. It looks like the finish line's actually back there. And um, right, we're going to go get some food and get ready for practice. Day one. Right, got Jake's new helmet. A little man, we're gonna cruise back to the pits and go get in for practice. Back for more, a little warm up with the man before Pracky. Maybe a bit of river action. Come on, mate, you know where you're going. Absolutely flying. He's about to be at the favorite spot. Oh, he's got a lady there. <laughs> okay, just straight down the bank. Okay, and you go. Come on. Okay. Straight out into the rapids. He's already done two laps. Well, are you gonna bomb the rapids before I go to practice? Okay, out you go. Where is it? Go on, rapid man. Okay. <laughs> Other man's got a toy, Dana Bomb! 
It's back from lap one. Oh. Update us, brother man. Sorry, more what? Uh, pit side in the rear. Yeah. Uh, the top, the top's actually way slower than we. I, I did thought. tell you it would be. It's so like, so like, flat. You feel like a slug. Yeah, I knew it was flat than you thought. Um, yeah. Okay. Give me your thoughts on the bottom. I'm set. I think you can actually get me my anything. Tires? I think I'm gonna go double crit. Double crit? Really? Just because it's so dry at the minute. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Unfortunately, the BK Sports game helmet's getting a tire this week, but we do have a sick new white and blue Liat one. BK Sport will be back though, so don't worry. Hey, we're about to go for the first run. Jake by myself. Look at that fresh peak in the view. And we've gone for, we're back on a normal bike. We've got Mojave Graphics. And you can see a bit long, man. Right. It's warm and dry for now, but it's looking like a wet weekend. The bike looks good with the kit as well. I can't, I can't fault it. It looks good. Oh, hey guys. Good day. Right, I don't actually know. It didn't take. Oh, it took like 20 or so minutes lining up. <laughs> Not too bad. We're almost there. Quick Gondi up. Yeah, that's bad. Couple k's to start. There's a hell line up as well. Yeah. Trying to get a sick tummy. My, there's 150 riders here. Oh, yeah. Your boy doing flybys. Yo, been here 15 minutes now. <laughs> it wasn't bad, it was only like 20 25 minutes. <laughs> VTT, you coming with Jay? Just a nice cruiser, eh? Yeah. Oh, you ready, brother? Yeah. Oh, baby. I'm going to try to remember it.
るだこだ。Sketchy double. Yeah. That was dangerous. Quite sketch, eh? Did you see the person lying with the medic at the side? Someone that had a huge on it, they were lying with the medic. A lot of corners are quite sketch as well. Real sketch, like, dude. It's real soft pockets. Yeah, I like my tires. <laughs> There's definitely a one inside that was good. Yeah? Before you do like like get into that corner rhythm. Yeah, yeah. You I went that. wide, I know what you mean, yeah. Oh you like right up. Cruise it before it's busy again. It's gotta be high there, right? Oh, there's some brakes going here. Oh, yeah. The turns are ruined! That is sick! Yeah. So good! A lot of speed limits on how cars can go in. Yeah. You know on the two steep bits. Yeah, Jakey! Yeah, boy! Lot of man, it's hyped that we're back. We're watching Tall Moss's Goey. Hi, son. How are ya? One good lap. Jake on the side. All right, whose dog is this? Son. Back up, lap two. Oh, I didn't see there's a line or not. Lap two, boys. What's the time? 5.22. We should be good. We get another, eh? Last, last start from the, I believe, 45. Oh, easy. Yeah, boy.
person. Oh, that turns on really. Yeah, I know, and the high, that high speed. You do the high again. Yeah, but like pinned, I think it will be quicker. It has to be. Yeah. <coughs> um, what have we got here? You want to go? And I'll try and just see from a distance. I could have gapped that then, I think, off the other one. Oh, yeah, this lens is. Yeah, I see. Ready when you are, brother. Lighting that up! <laughs> oh, that's fine. Right, we're gonna keep charging and look at it in the lift line. Right, we're about to go for lap three, but if you're an enduro rider, this is what you get to do. Sit around, it's man. basically like it's one pack slap, then you just watch it's laps over right, and over. It's not even slippery, like it actually yeah, on it camera fine, it looks man. all good. But I'm told it's slippery. 556, we're rolling up for lap three. And Lou Don't Rio.
Yeah, boy. You. Sports fans, put the race tomorrow. That is unbelievable. Oh, the Argos are hooking up. We're loving it. Whew. Oh, rolling blue and white. Smile on my face. One past six. Oh, where's that little man? Oh, that is so good, lot of man. You like that, son? You like that? Who is it? Now you're up, aren't you? 